I'm sure you've heard the saying, get the right tool for the job. Well, sometimes the right tool might just be two tools. Double up. Uh, uh. Let's start off with the wrench. I got a friend who thinks every bolt with a 17 millimeter head needs to be torqued to like 120 foot pounds. And trying to break it loose with this little wrench just sometimes doesn't do it. And sometimes there's not enough room to put a big breaker bar on. So try this next time if you run into this situation. I like to take a second box in wrench, loop it in like this, and by looping the two pieces together, I can actually get enough leverage usually to break that bolt loose. This works really well in junkyards when you don't want to carry a lot of tools with you, by the way. Next tip is double hammers. So let's say you're doing a B-series swap in your EF, and you know you got to put that dent in the frame rail in order to clear the alternator pulley, but just swinging away wildly with a big hammer doesn't always put the dents where you want it. What I suggest you do is take one hammer, place it where you want the dent, then take the second hammer and use that to apply the force. By taking both hammers and using them like that usually makes it a little bit more effective for placing the dent where you want it. Another thing is, let's say for instance you're trying to get axle loose. You've got a left hand and right hand axle stuck in the intermediate joint. If you take one hammer and place it on the edge of the inner joint, you can take the second hammer, use the force, and usually knock them loose. No amount of prying is going to get those loose, so try using two hammers. The next tip actually has to do with removing studs. I'm sure everybody's heard about this tip. I usually use a stud removal tool, but sometimes there's not enough room to get this in there with the wrench on it. So a good thing to do is take two nuts. Now I know two nuts aren't double tools, but it works like two tools. You just take the two nuts, screw them down, tighten them against each other, and once you do that, you can usually take the one nut and use it to unscrew the stud. This works particularly well on man intake manifolds. I had to use it the other day when I was trying to pull a stud off of an RSX manifold so I could tilt the manifold and take it off without pulling off the water pump. That's a good tip. Saved me a lot of time in resealing the water pump. Next is wobbles. Wobbles help you get a little extra angle on the socket. Let's say you can't quite even get in there straight in order to get the uh, socket onto a bolt or something. Well, sometimes the wobble doesn't have enough movement, so try stacking two wobbles up. That'll give you a little extra flex there, and that might just do the trick to get a tool on that and be able to break that bolt loose. By the way, I can remember back in the day when we did a lot of B-series swaps and EFs, the bolt on that rear mount that was really difficult to get to, we would take this super long ex wobble extension, pair it with another one, and we could slide it down along the firewall and get to that mount and take that bolt loose, and it made it a lot easier job to get that bolt out of the rear mount. This last tip is kind of an odd one. I've run into situations like taking a crank pulley bolt off where the uh, impact gun just doesn't seem to have enough oomph to do it. So what we decided to do is we made up this little doodad. This actually allows us to put two air hoses on the same tool. I'm not really sure the physics of how this thing works. I mean, the hoses are both coming from the same compressor. They're both coming from the same line, but somehow it does a trick. It gives that little bit extra oomph that allows me to knock the crank pulley bolt loose. Anyway, that's your double tool tips. Give it a try.